On one of your answers to your previous question, you mentioned the ripple effect. Yes. Now, as a student of mathematical physics, mm -hmm. I I'm intimately understand what you're going for. Mm -hmm. But are you submitting a God who is good only in his net product? In other words, in the death of a baby, something that we can pretty much mm -hmm. agree is inherently mm -hmm. bad. Mm -hmm. Having a good effect. So, do they? And with God, are you saying that the ends justify the needs? The means. Yeah. Yeah. Well, or do bad things simply happen because we live in a fallen world that has a devil? That has a what? That has a devil. It does have a devil. Yes, that's another aspect to it. God, it's not an ends justify the means ethic. It's just that the ends can be redeemed. Right? I mean, if God wanted to, he could stop all the evil in the world. But if he did that, what would become of us? Well, if he takes away our free will, then we're no longer moral creatures. We couldn't love, but we couldn't do evil either. So we'd be more like robots. In fact, I was at Michigan State a few years ago, and uh, an atheist, uh, I knew there was a militant atheist in the audience because he sat there the entire two-hour presentation like this. He didn't crack a smile once. And I had some pretty good jokes in there. In any event, I knew he was going to have a question as soon as I went to questions. So I said, are there any questions? He raised his hand. I said, yes, sir. He said, if there is a good God, why doesn't he stop all evil in the world? I said, sir, that is an excellent question. Maybe because if he did, he might start with you or me. Because we do evil every day. Whenever we think about evil, we never think of ourselves, do we? We always think of somebody else doing it. Well, if God wanted to stop evil, he might start with you and me. So... A God can bring good from evil, but God is not the actor here causing evil to come upon people. He's just set up the world in such a way that sometimes evil does come on people, but he can redeem it. Okay, so what you're saying is, is that God cannot be the author of a bad thing. He can simply bring redemption to that. He can allow bad things to happen, and he can bring calamity, it says in Isaiah 45, 7, not evil. He can bring calamity, judgment on people. It's bad from our perspective, but it's just from God's perspective. Right? If, he, if he's going to judge a nation because of what they've done, God can do that and does do that, or has done that in the Old Testament anyway. He's revealed it there. So that's totally just of God to judge a nation or judge a person. He, t t he takes out Ananias and Sapphira in, in the book of Acts. Why? Well, they lied to the Holy Spirit, right? He kills them. Bam. Well, the Bible says that the wages of sin is death. It is. But it's sin, it's, by definition, is the voidness of the nature of God, the voidness of doing what is right in God's sight. Mm -hmm. So does God, do, does God bring about the death of these people because they are wrong, or does God simply step away and allow them to reap the, of what they've sown? Well, the best we can do is go to Luke chapter 13. In Luke chapter 13, Jesus says, Do you think the 18 upon whom this tower fell in Siloam were worse sinners than you? And he says, I tell you no, but unless you repent, you too will perish. Right? He doesn't answer the question saying, Was, it, was this guy worse? He doesn't even... He, he doesn't get into that. He just says, you're all sinners, and you're all going to perish unless you repent. So Jesus, because at that time in the Old Covenant, the Old Covenant was, if you do X, God will do Y. By the way, that's where all the prosperity gospel stuff comes from. It comes from the Old Covenant, which is obsolete. If you do X, God will do Y. That covenant no longer exists. It's not God, we do X and God does Y. It's that it's all grace. We just trust in Christ, and yeah, we may be persecuted, yeah, we may be martyred, but ultimately, we're going to be with him mm -hmm. and restored. So is he the author of that calamity in, in your dead Well, it depends family? on what sense you mean it. God is the author of everything in the sense that when he creates everything, he knows how it's going to turn out. But he is not the one who caused Jeffrey Dahmer to kill you know, all the people he killed, say, for example. Okay? God allowed it, but he didn't cause Jeffrey Dahmer to do that. Okay, so in the instance, a light bulb is not responsible for a dark room that it's not in. God, can't be, God can't be responsible for sin because sin is the absence of God. The light's not going on in my head right now, so I'm trying to follow that. I'm okay. Uh, yes, God can't sin... But when he kills somebody, it's not sin for him because he's the creator of life and he can resurrect it. It's sin for us 
but not for him. Right? If God kills me right now, or you right now, is God sinning? Well, what kind of God would he be if he didn't follow his own commandments? He, he doesn't issue commands to himself. Right? It, it's, it, it's a command to us not to murder. God can't murder because he's not, he's not one of us. He is the author of life, and he can resurrect life. So God can take us out and does take us out at his pleasure. Well, if but he just moves us to the next life then. Well, then how would there be any congruency in his nature if one thing applies to us, us and another applies to him? Because God's not a creature. We're creatures. All these commands apply to us. They don't apply to God. I'm not saying God is arbitrary. Don't get me wrong. What I'm saying is, is that I can't kill somebody, an innocent person, innocent by our standards, but God can. God can take babies out if he wants to. He can withdraw his hand. He can take me, you out. He can take anybody out anytime he wants to. He has his reasons. We might not even know what they are. The ripple effect can help us understand how God can have a reason we don't know about. But God can kill anybody and take them into the next life anytime he wants. Do you disagree with that? I agree that he can, but will he? Is well, he does. People are dying all the time. Right? Yes, but not due to him. Well, it depends on what you mean. Yeah, if somebody shoots you, yeah, God didn't do it. But at some point... Well, if you submit to free will and they shot me, it was based on the will of that person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Would, that not, would the will of that person be not connected to the will of God if they have a free will? It depends will? on what you mean, if his permissive will or his perfect will. It's not his perfect will somebody shoots you. It's his permissive will that he allows somebody to shoot you. Well, yeah, because that comes along with free will in a fallen world. Mm -hmm. Right. But he would not be the author of No, he's not the author of allowing somebody else to kill you or me. Mm. I'll use me because I don't want 